the first uh, national journalist to report on the ground uh, from the tornado zone uh, out of anybody in the country. What was it like? Uh, it's the same thing when I've gone into this before. Um, I've done this dozens of times, going into tornado damage. As you arrive, your heart rate goes up. You start to feel kind of sick to your stomach. And even though everything is at somewhat of a standstill, you, you, your blood is just really rushing through your body. You really feel uncomfortable. And then you see scenes like these. The damage, of course, is incredible. This reminded me just of uh, Noonan, Georgia last year, where I was there for an EF4 tornado. Very similar. So you're seeing the damage from afar. But when you look closer, you see things that are far more impactful because right now what you're seeing on screen is just the boards and the cars and the trees that are scrapped. But if we could show you the, the other photos that we have here, uh, I was able to see some big piles of debris that were lined up along the streets. And inside the debris, you start to see items that are a little more uh, personal. I saw uh, photos of people, their actual photo albums. I saw cards from people who were given to them for Mother's Day. And that's where you really start to feel that human element. And it really breaks your heart because people may have lost those items forever. You have no idea how far those things flew. They could have been from miles away. Yeah, I think that what is important to mention is that when you go to a storm like this or a tornado zone like this, is that it's so quiet. Mm -hmm. I mean, you might hear somebody, you know, bulldozing, but it's just this eerie stillness. You're right. In the morning, it's definitely like that. As soon as you hit in the afternoon, yeah. though, it comes alive, loud. You hear chainsaws, heavy machinery, yeah. all sorts of things happening yeah. later on. But yes. Wow. Well, thank you for being there for us. We really appreciated that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.